So my name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student at the University of Western Australia. I've nominated the Great Southern Reef as a hope spot with the aim of increasing awareness to the whole uh, Australian community and in the future to increase its protection. So as scientists, we, we study these systems really in depth and, and we learn about them so much, but we have a hard time getting this information across to the public to show them just how amazing this reef system is. The Great Southern Reef was a name we came up with to give the ecosystem a proper identity that basically conveys how amazing it is and how unique it is. The Great Southern Reef spans five states over 8,000 kilometres of coastline along the entire southern half of Australia. And species on the Great Southern Reef have been geographically isolated for tens of millions of years, which has led to a unique biodiversity of thousands of species that are not found anywhere else on Earth. In all the world, the Great Southern Reef in Australia is an exceptional place of diversity. It re reflects a deep and ancient history that is special to the southern coast of Australia. There's a lot of fish life, there's a lot of um, really rare fish as well, so chances are every time you go for a dive you'll see something that you've never seen before, so very unique and, um, and it hasn't been exploited. If this is completely pristine, this is, it's so isolated the south coast of Australia. We're in a bloody lucky place, you know, like we live in a, a really prosperous society that has the ability to look after uh, an asset like this on the south coast and make sure that it stays as good today as what it was 100 years ago. We really want to highlight these areas and highlight the importance of the wildlife living there and the base layer of the ecosystems, which is the temperate kelp beds. The Great Southern Reef is dominated by a, a low canopy of um, one species in particular, which is the common kelp, Eclonia radiata. It's quite unique that you have one species dominating pretty much 8,000 kilometres of reef. I, I strongly think that people protect what they love and they love what they understand and it's a big goal of mine to increase this understanding of the Great Southern Reef in Australia. With knowing comes caring and with caring there is real hope that the Great Southern Reef will be respected and protected.